Hello everyone, in this video I'll be explaining bubble sort. There are a few things that are good to know about bubble sort. First of all, the time complexity. In worst case, the time complexity of bubble sort is big O of n square because we'll have two for loops. And it is n square when the entire array is in reverse order. Reverse order, alright? And in the best case scenario, the time complexity will be big O of n that is when the entire array is already sorted okay and there's a fun fact about bubble sort that is it's used in computer graphics because it can detect small errors and fix them very easily in linear complexity now i'll explain bubble sort with the help of an example now let me tell you how bubble sort works overall okay in bubble sort, what we do is we compare adjacent elements like these two, then these two, then these two, then these two. And whenever we find that the element next to the left element is greater, then we just swap it. Okay. First, we compare these two. Is 56 greater than 98? No, it's not. So we don't swap. Then second, we compare these two. 1 and 2 index. Is 98 greater than 78? Yeah. So then we swap it. So like that we just keep continuing till the entire array is sorted. Okay. So we have two for loops in bubble sort. First one will run till n minus 1. So we have 5 elements here. So it will run till 5 minus 1 which is 4. Okay. This i is for each pass. Okay. So, one passes when i is 0, this entire thing will happen and that will be one pass. Okay, and j will go from 0 to n minus i minus 1. Now, the reason why it's n minus i minus 1 is because after every pass, the last few elements will be in sorted order. So, we don't want to go over those sorted elements again. So, we just subtract i minus 1 from n and we do it. Okay, so now let's do a dry run. So this is pass 1. Pass 1 is when i is equal to 0. When i is equal to 0, j runs from 0 all the way through n minus i minus 1. So it runs from 0 to n is 5 minus i is what here? 0 minus 1. So, j will run all the way from 0 to 4. Okay. So, it will be here it's 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Alright. So, first we compare these two. Okay. So, is 56 greater than 98? No. So, I will write them as they are. 56, 98. Rest of them I'll just copy as it is. 44 and 32. Now we compare these two. Now we'll compare these two. So it's 56. Is 98 greater than 78? Yes it is. So we swap the elements. Okay. So 98 will come here. 44 and 32. I'll copy them as they are finish comparing 1 and 2 indices so now we'll compare here this this is actually the j index jth index so what we're doing is j is okay let's say j is 2 now 2 and 3 okay so we check if 98 is greater than 44 yes it is so we swap it 44 and 98 I'll copy the rest of the elements as they are. Okay. Now we compared these two elements which is 2 and 3. Now j increases and it becomes 3. So now we compare the third and fourth index. Okay. So this is 3 and this is 4. So these two. Is 98 greater than 32? Yes it is. So we swap it. So 32 comes here and 98 comes here. And the rest of the elements. I'll copy them as they are. Now one interesting fact is 98 here we can see it's already sorted. 
Since it's the largest element in the array, now we know that this part is sorted. That's why we only go till n minus i minus 1. Now let's start with pass 2. Here we have our array r. And as you can see, 98 is at the end, so it's already sorted. And this is pass 2 where i is equal to 1 last time it was 0 now i became 1 it incremented all right so now j will go all the way from 0 to n minus i minus 1 0 to 5 minus i is 1 minus 1 5 minus 2 is 3 so 0 all the way up to 3 so that's 0 1 2 3 okay so now what do we do again we start the same process we see these two is 56 greater than 78 no so we don't swap it so i'll write them as they are 56 and 78 44 write the rest of the elements also as they are now we compare 0 and 1 now j in j becomes 1 we compare first and second index now okay so 78 and 44 is 78 greater than 44 yes it is so we swap the elements so 44 comes here and 78 comes here and i'll write rest of the elements as it is as, it, as they are okay now j increments to 2 now we compare to second and third index so is 78 greater than 32 yes so we swap the elements again so 32 comes here, 78 comes here and I'll write the rest of the elements as they are. Now in this we only go up to 3 right, so we don't do these two passes, these two turns ok. And if you see these two last elements are sorted. So next in the array we'll go only till here ok. I'll show you the next pass now. So now we already saw pass 2. So now let's see pass 3. Okay. So in pass 3, i will be equal to 2. And j will go all the way from 0 to n minus i minus 1. So that is 0 to 5 minus 2 minus 1. So it will go from 0 to uh, 5 minus 3 is 2. So 0, 1 and 2. These are j indices. So first j is 0. So we compare index 0 and 1. Is 56 greater than 44? Yes. So we swap the elements. So 44 comes here, 56 comes here. Rest of the elements I'll copy as they are. Alright. Okay. So now we compared 0 and 1. Now we'll compare 1 and 2. Okay. So is 56 greater than 32? Yes. So we will swap the numbers. Okay. So 32 will come here. 56 goes here. And I will copy the rest of the elements as they are. Okay. Now that's it for pass 3. Because it was only from 0 to 2. Now let's see pass 4. In pass 4 what happens is. I will just copy my elements as they are from here already so 44 32 56 78 and 98 okay so in pass 4 i will be equal to 3 j will go from 0 to n minus i minus 1 that is 0 to 5 minus 3 minus 1 so 5 minus 4 is 1 so 0 to 1 here is 0 and here is 1 now we just compare only these two indices is 44 greater than 32 yes it is so we swap these two so 32 comes here 44 56 78 and 98 so if you can observe here the array was sorted till here so 56 78 98 they were already sorted now if you see they sorted all the way till here and this is only one element right the entire array is sorted so we have successfully sorted our array using bubble sort okay so that's it for bubble sort you guys if you have any doubts or suggestions 
please put it in the comments down below and i'll be more than happy to look into it also if you learned something new and from this video and you enjoyed the content please subscribe to the channel and also give this video a like and that will make me really really happy okay thank you